Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 22 Falcons franchise video. And today we're going to be facing off against the 1-0 division rivals, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as we are 0-1. We're the only team in the division to lose a game so far. Everyone else in the division is undefeated, but we have some players to upgrade here. Actually, one player, and that would be Kyle Pitts. And I'm just going to keep going into vertical threat for him. I could care less about his blocking because they'll just be upgraded with it. Catching, juke move, release, run block is already with it, and run block power, so... There's no point to upgrading run block if it's just going to give me it anyways. So anyways, guys, let's look into the negotiations we have here as well. So uh, big decision. Dante Jackson is a player that I would love. And I mean, love to have back. We just traded for him. Of course, we're going to sign him. Assign him. I didn't know he was in this contract here, but we re-signed him. Also, Naheem Hines is a player. Oh, wow. That's cheap. Yes, please. Up the salary and boom, he stays. Young Hoku, I'm going to keep on this team. Fosada Luwakan. Actually, Young Hoku, I do love him, but dang. Um, I think I'm just going to actually let him hit free agency and just get him on a cheap deal. Fosada Luwakan, I think I would love to keep on this team as well, though that's a hefty price, but he does have 90 speed, which is a great user. Russell Gage, I'm not very happy about. I don't really like paying someone who's already 25, 75 year old. If he was already an 80 or an 85, I would definitely sign him, but. I don't, I don't think I want Russell Gage on my team unless he somehow pops off for us. Then everyone else here is just, it looks like a no for me. Ooh. Um, KJ, no. Conley is a maybe, depending on how he plays. He's extremely cheap, too. But you just got to do what you got to do sometimes. Anyways, guys, let's get into this game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hopefully, we can just make it a good game so that way you guys don't have to see me get trounced. They're 10 hole overall is higher, higher than me. So don't complain to me in the comments, dude. We're 74 while they're in 84. Totally unfair. So anyways, guys, let's just get into it. Fosadalukon. Fosadalukon has speed. I'm on Gronk now. How could he not keep up with Gronk? Oh, I was trying to ankle clip him, but Rojo is definitely going to get a first down on that check down. I don't like how close my safeties are, but that is definitely a run. Oh, it's not going to be a run. He's going to be wide open. I was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I blitzed. I blitzed the DB. I completely run committed there. Got Naheem Hines. Go to the outside. Naheem Hines up the middle. This is why we game plan inside run. 11 yards for Naheem Hines, who's been always tearing it up. We're going to go right back to him. And yes, great block there by whoever that was. Naheem Hines can't get a spin, but another 11 yard rush. Whoever blocked Devin White did an amazing job there. Can Russell Gage get open? That's kind of open right there. Russell Gage, thank you for the amazing block by Fitzgerald, by the way. My God, first down. Let's see what Russell Gage has. That's going to be open. Kind of terrible pass. Terrible pass. Why didn't you tackle him, Kyle Pitts? Get him. Go. Oh, my gosh, dude. What a god-awful pass. Led terribly. Led terribly, dude. Let's look at this. Let me back out. I don't want to challenge the play. I don't want to call a timeout. Bro, let me look at the replay. God. What an absolutely god-awful pass. Let me look at this. So, Kyle Pitts clearly beats Devin White here. This is open. He has a step. I'm aware that this guy is here, but all you have to do is simply just put the ball, just put the ball right, right here, dude. You don't put it all the way over here. Look how this is led terribly. It's not even within the reach. You can see Kyle Pitts is trying to reach for it. It's not even within the reach of him. It's a two-yard pass over the line of scrimmage, dog. Like, it's not that hard. And yes, you could say he's under pressure here, but no, he's not whenever he releases the ball. Let me look at this. By the time I'm releasing the ball, he is not. he's five y yards away from JPP. He's fine. Like, this is not under pressure. My God, what a god-awful pass. Giving it back to Hines up the middle. He's got some good space here, and that's going to be another first down for Hines. Six rushes, 42 yards, averaging seven per carry. Uh, this should be open. Why did you? Okay, that was terribly led ball, but there we go. Pitts once again had to stretch for it, but thank you, Kyle Pitts, first down. Naheem Hines once again up the guts and getting another nine yards. Nice. Kyle Pitts, that's wide open. Kyle Pitts over the middle. Touchdown. Let's go. I think that's the first touchdown of the series, actually, because we scored three po points last game, and who better than to Kyle Pitts? Perfect. Let's go. We knocked them out of one of their zones, 7-14. to 
And I got this zone right here. That's covered pretty well. I think everything's covered greatly. Just get to the QB finally. Grady Jarrett sack. One sack, one tackle. Grady Jarrett, nice job taking down Tom Brady. Second and 21. We got Deion Jones here, who I got over the middle. I got this over the middle. Why did you give that up so easily, dude? How did he... Ooh, balls on the ground. Dude, oh. So many things were happening that play. They convert on third and 18. How did you give that up? There are safeties back there, too. I'm sending a blitz here. Go up the gut. And wow, it's another play action. How does that not tackle him? How do I walk, like, ghost through his legs every time? That's so annoying. Against the Bucks. I'm, I mean, I'm not playing man against the Bucks, dude. Stupid idea. Can I, I can't get a big hit either. Nice. And they're going to be good, right? Another out route, dude. Like, I can't do anything. Chris Godwin and these out routes are destroying me. I can't call audibles or hot routes or anything. That, that should be... Oh, God, Matt Ryan! <laughs> Let's go. That's a great position. Best punter on YouTube. Let's go. Screw you, Bengal. That works. This should be there. Oh, my God. What a terrible pass, Matt Ryan. Max power. I didn't hit max power. That's not making it there. He's going to return that. He's going to return that. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Terrible job. I did not hit max power. I completely just didn't hit hit the button at all. But at least we get ball at half. Why is Mike Davis still in the game? This is infuriating. <sighs> I'm still wondering why Mike Davis is in the game. And I just got drilled. I'm going to have to take a shot. I can't take a shot at all because of everything that's happening. <laughs> I'm getting so screwed, dude. This is such be it. Give me Naheem Hines back, number one, so I can run the ball. Mike Davis is terrible. Many times, dude. I'm going to shoot up the gut. Rojo, I literally ran a blitz. Hit him. Cut. This looks like a run. It's not a run. I've been mistaken once again. And, of course, they're going to get it. I wish my quarterback could throw that accurately. Dog, you, you are right next to me. You can hear my audibles, bro. I, I can't do anything. Is that a safety? No, it's on the one. <laughs> and I, he's probably going to return that. How does Antonio Brown shake off three defensive linemen? I'm going to lose it, dude. Oh my god, toss it, toss I, I can't do anything. My team sucks. There we go. I got that open right there, Calvin. Whenever I have something open, I can't throw it! Okay, I don't know what I can really cover here. I had that covered for a little... Dude, I like let it leave my zone. Like I guarded my zone, then let it go to the next person. Who did not do their job on that play? I know it's a run. Like, and he's going to shoot it right up the gap. No problem. I send a seven-man blitz, five men blocking, and he, no problem, runs up the middle. Whenever I'm committing to the middle. Got that covered. Dude, if somebody doesn't guard Godwin, I am going to lose it, bro. I am, I am done with this. This is so infuriating. I know Godwin is good and our DBs are trash, but what do I have to do? Um, that should be, uh, never mind, dude, just, just kill me. I'm committing up the middle. Good job. I commit up the middle, he goes to the outside, and that's apparently what stops outside runs is whenever you commit up the middle. Makes a lot of sense. It's a motion, I think it's going to be a run. It's not a run. Mike Evans shakes off a tackler, and he's going to get another first down. First reception I've seen to Mike Evans. Good, thank God it wasn't Chris Godwin, or else I would have lost it. And deep to me. I love it when the CPU suggests a three-man deep, especially on a run play. My favorite. This is my favorite game because it's so realistic. I mean, I, yeah, I can see this blowout in real life because we have a terrible team. But God, 
I love it when the coach suggestions suggest me a three man deep when we're in the red zone. Me roll out with Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan's on the run. He's on the loose. A first down and more. Matt Ryan rushing yards. Two rushes, 22 yards. I didn't expect that from him. Okay, and that's it. And we got absolutely humiliated. Matt Ryan was terrible. Where was Naheem Hines? He didn't show up at all for the second half. And I looked on the injury report, and he wasn't there. Naheem Hines had a great game in the first half. 64 yards in the first half. My entire team broke down without him because I would get at least six yards in the first downs, then go to a slant, a drag. I would go to an out route, an in route. I would go just to, just the little things because Matt Ryan only has 85 throw power and he can't throw it deep. So I'd do the mid routes, the short routes, do the ground game. I can't do anything. Mike Davis and Jordan Hawkins, I think it is, are terrible. Like, no, Javin Hawkins is terrible. Same with Mike Davis. They were both terrible. Mike Davis only had one carry, but the reason I don't give it to him is because he's terrible. Okay, guys, so we're going to pl be playing the 1-1 one one Giants in the next game. Our offense is a 73 and our defense is a 76. I did not know that. The Giants are a whole, what is it, six overalls higher than us, so don't expect much more than from me. Uh, we're 0-2. Panthers lost a game last week, but the Saints and Bucks both won their games. Obviously, the Bucks won their games. They trounced their opponent. I wonder who that could be. But also, we have another player to negotiate, which is Young Hoku. College, college, scout college players. Weekly strategy for the next thing and blah, blah, blah. Manage roster. What happened to Naheem Hines? Is he okay? Is my question. Where were you? Like, he, no matter how much I adjusted the roster, like, he didn't show up. For the second half was he out for the game and if he was out for the game for like a strain or something why was i not informed that is the most annoying thing ever it is terribly frustrating trying to deal with this team especially especially on offense whenever matt ryan can't complete a pass now he has minus three morale you know what would improve your morale if you actually completed a pass dude like 85 throw power, I can't do anything. His accuracy is decreased. He has 90, 90 short accuracy. 92 whenever he has regular morale. Dude, 90 short accuracy. And he can't complete two yard passes. Ugh! It infuriates me trying to deal with this dude. It's so... <laughs> I need to change the sliders. I'm pretty sure it's at 50 right now. And what the... I have a 59 overall left guard. What happened to the other one? Oh, no, he was 60 overall, but his morale went down by one. Can I just move this guy? I don't, I don't care if you play tackle or you're playing guard now. I don't care if you've never played guard in your life. You're a 64 overall. I'm moving you to left guard because uh, apparently we can't block either. And our offensive line sucks either way. So you're a 66 overall guard. Now, it's good, great job. You went up two overalls. And um, yeah, Grady Jarrett's the only one that does anything. Marlon Davidson, I'm going to move there. Specialist is all jacked up now because I refreshed the roster. Great, I love to see it, Naheem Hines. You are starting here because you're the only person I can really rely on. And yeah. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video of me losing my mind. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.